Hello, it's Nick. Um, something new. I'm going to do a trilogy of builds. Um, Angel Wing Designs are apparently just about to launch three micro gliders. Now, a gentleman whose name is Red Jensen owns a company called Alien Technologies. Uh, if you know anything about the Prandle Wing, um, Red's been heavily involved in the flying and helping the development of that with NASA. And he's developed these three, basically he's got these three gliders, the Gentle Lady, the Aquila and the Sinbad, and he shrunk them down. So they're sort of 30, 35 um, inch long wingspan. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start off with the simplest one, which is the Gentle Lady. I, in a moment I'm going to list all the bits and pieces that you're going to need, like a knife, the glues, some tips on sandpaper, and also some advice on a very simple, cheap um, building board. I'm pitching these three videos for people who have never ever built a balsa model before. So particularly for if there's young people watching this and perhaps a mum and dad has decided they're going to get them a kit, uh, I'm hoping to pitch this. If you're an experienced builder and you might find some tips anyway, but I'm pitching this for the people who have never built balsa before. Uh, but if anybody has any tips and tricks along the way which they think um, they can do better please actually put them uh, in the comments below my only experience is I've been building models since 1965 I hold no formal for qualifications um, but there's just the bits and pieces I've picked up along the way I hope you enjoy the builds the gliders look really exciting they don't look that difficult to build so here we go the first one we're going to build is the Gentle Lady. It's called the Micro Gentle Lady. And if you go to the Angel Wings Designs website, you'll be able to download these fantastic instructions, which of course you obviously you won't need because you'll be looking at this video. Um, anyway, let's crack on and let me show you the tools, the glues, the other bits and pieces that you're going to need to complete this kit. Okay, so let's just run through uh, a few little things that we're going to need for basically all three kits. The instructions you can download from Angel Wing Designs. There'll be a little PDF you can uh, download those very quickly. Or you can just read them like I've done in the past. Um, you store them to a tablet or your phone and then you can just read through them while you're looking at this video, of course. So a couple of other things we're going to need. Um, useful to have a couple of straight edges, a couple of steel rules. Um, I'm a big fan, particularly of these smaller scale models, of using these little nail files. So I've got a little pack there, I think they were £2.50, various different grades. Um, and they're also, I find them quite useful working on this scale of uh, glider. Um, something else, you can use these sort of um, sewing type pins, um, like so. But uh, I invested, they're not that expensive, I invested in what's known as these T-pins. So you've got these little T-pins to them. So I've got a series of those, but you know, if, you're, if this is your first model and you're on a budget, then those normal pins will work just as well. Um, you want a decent uh, sharp knife. And the other thing I would say is make sure that you've got plenty of blades. So we want plenty of blades to be able to use. Uh, now, a couple of other things. Uh, these are always useful. In fact, I actually got these out of uh, one of these little Oxford mathematical sets. But these little things here, these little give you a nice square, particularly when we're setting and making sure the ribs are all square and that type of thing. Uh, they're useful to get hold of. Uh, now. In the plans, in this particular kit, it says using Sino. Now, I think if you have spoke, seen some of my videos in the past, I'm not a big lover of superglue. Um, I only use it when I can use it in a well-ventilated area. Um, so, the first one, the Gentle Lady, which is going to be our first build, I'm going to use uh, superglue. Um, nothing special. Uh, you can get this sort of type of superglue uh, from a bargain pound shop. But one thing I would suggest is, if you can find one that sells it with these little pipettes, because this is quite a small model that we're working on, this is going to be perfect for just dropping down into little neat corners. Um, so there, it's no big deal if you can't, but if you can get hold of something like that, that's going to help you. 
um, so we've got all of that now the only other thing we do need to talk about is the board okay so we've gone through the various bits and pieces we need now we just need to talk about a, a, a suitable modeling board now if you're on a budget and bearing in mind for people who are done a lot of building this is not going to interest you but I really am pitching these three build videos with these gliders at people who've never built balsa models before or haven't done one for a long time this one is a notice board from one of these cheap pound shoppy type places um, this one I've got a crease in but I've just got it here just to show you as an example now what we're looking for is that takes a pin quite well and that's what we're looking for it's something that's nice and flat um, so that's the uh, sort of the pound shop notice board in fact this one uh, is a picture frame from Ikea so on the back of that picture frame was some hardboard now this stuff is really a bit too hard um, it's really difficult to take a pin um, I'm using these T pins it will do it but it's just a lot lot harder um, so that is an option or you could actually do that those two together that would work very nicely now my two favorites for this project this one is an insulation tile for laminate flooring it's five mil and um, I think you can buy a pack of 20 of these for about £19 in B&Q at the moment. That takes a pin beautiful. So that's a really good choice. Okay, and this is the one I'm going to use. This is my favourite. This is foam board. So basically it's 5mm of polystyrene and it's just got paper lined either side of it. So I'm going to pin that down in all four corners. And this is what I'm going to use for the build of the um, gentle lady so the next step is we are going to have a opening of the kit and we'll crack on